So welcome, thank you guys for coming out today um, to the Medical Assisting Information Conference. So we just wanted to provide some uh, basic information for you about the, one of the programs that we have here. This is a new program for us, so we're getting ready to start our second cohort here at the Winchester campus. So that's kind of why we gathered everyone here today to be able to talk about how the program works and how we partner with Clark Regional Medical Center. Um, and how um, they are offering scholarships and all the great support that they're doing to get this program up and running. So my name is Bruce Manley and I am the campus director here at the Winchester Clark County campus. So um, I know nothing about the program and I know nothing about healthcare. So I'm just kind of a go-between in the middle type person to pull everybody together and to make sure we're all on the same page. And you'll probably see me at the front desk and I can help with advising and okay. So here we have Barrett Bridgewater uh, from the hospital. He's here with us today. Um, and also Ashley Gent. Uh, she's our program coordinator slash teacher slash everything else <laughs> that you need to know. We have Dr. Jackson here. Dr. Jackson is a faculty in um, our biology department. She teaches a lot of the human anatomy and physiology courses that we have and nutrition courses. We love nutrition. So, um, Ms. Ashley, would you like to come up and talk about what the medical assisting program is and what you can do and, and everything? So I'll turn it over to Ms. Ashley. Yeah, Happy stand right there. Exactly. Yeah. All right. I probably talked to most of you at some point. I hope. If not, that's fine. Um, if you talk to anybody, it is me. Um, there are two programs um, in medical assisting. So. Medical assisting, I actually went for a year as well at HTTC. Um, there's a lot of career opportunities for it. Um, that I guess it's not necessarily that there's people quitting all the time and leaving, but doctor's offices is where we are utilized the most. Um, a lot of nurses, RNs, LPNs, they do not work in the doctor's offices as frequently. Um, so therefore, that's where we step in and see it. Um, you do learn phlebotomy in the program. It does not get you your phlebotomy certificate, but as being a medical assistant, you can also then work in an optic lab, taking blood. Um, I've done both for five years. I did nothing of the sorts of phlebotomy and basically forgot everything I learned in school with that because I didn't have to do it. And then I had started a, a new office and had to be retaught basically on site. Um, all those skills because they did do it on site. So it's one of those, some places do it, some places don't. Um, but I do know down here, Winchester Park Regional is very big in the area. And um, a lot of offices we worked with in the past have now pushed over with you all. Um, so it's great that they are here because I love them and they help me so much with my students. Um, Regardless of, like Bruce was saying, the scholarship opportunity, um, they have been so timely to accept everybody for their externship. So at some point in another, you would be working, I guess, with Clark Regional um, in that aspect and get to see how their offices run. Um, so there is the program, and then at the very end, you do an externship. Uh, it's eight weeks out at a clinical site, actually utilizing your skills that you have learned for the past semester and a half. Um, and most, not most of the time, but the majority of the time I've had at least one or two students from every cohort getting hired by their externship site because I've gotten to see how you work for eight weeks and how reliable you are and your skills that you develop, that it's a good stepping stone. Um, it is also a good thing to on your resume. Um, that is actual work experience. So. Um, don't be discouraged if you apply for CMA jobs because there are a lot of them and you think, well, this is just crazy. There is just a high demand for them. Um, LPNs and RNs, typically, like I said, nursing home hospitals, we're in the doctor's offices. Um, and you know, maybe one day in the hospital setting, I uh, know outpatient surgery centers and I know some of my continue to live CMAs as well. So there's a lot for us. 
Thank you, ma'am. We're going to have a chance at the end for any questions that you have to. So, um, uh, or if you just have a question along the way. So, uh, like I said, this is our second cohort that we're trying to recruit and admit for. Uh, we're very fortunate. We wouldn't be able to even have the program fully here at Winchester if it wasn't with the support of Park Regional Medical Center. So they approached us and they said, we need to find quality medical assistance and you guys have a great program and we'd love to be able to train students right here in Winchester. So what can we do to make that happen? So they came to the table with some scholarships, some work and learn opportunities, and that's kind of how the program started. So uh, Sarah Roberts has recently joined us. Sarah, I told everybody that we're video conferencing this because we, we had are. yes oh, because we had some students that couldn't make it in okay. today so you have to stand right here okay gotcha gotcha sound good you let me know when it's when it's our turn to talk okay well, actually you. i will let you know that um uh it'll be just a minute sure. <laughs> so do you guys want to go ahead and talk or do you want to talk about how it might be better go ahead and have you guys talk and then you can talk about how we Stagger the program and what the schedule was. Would that be okay? Yeah. All right. So let's have you guys talk and uh, talk about what all you're offering and how students can apply for what you're offering. Part of my intern's program, and maybe you can talk about the specifics. Okay. All right. Um, well, as as Bruce said, my name is Sarah Roberts, and I am the administrator over our employee position offices for Clark Regional. Um, uh, a need had uh, uh, presented itself because uh, we, four years ago, we had two offices. Now we're 19 offices large and we're in three counties. So the need for um, good certified medical assistants um, that are from the area who want to stay here um, became a, a bigger need for us. And, and so we have BTTC right here in our community and what better way than to partner with them um, with the program that we can then be your extern site um, for your externship and then also for for those students who um, have a hard time bridging from maybe what they're doing now to becoming a CMA, stopping, pausing lives, going back to school, we wanted to be able to help them do a stand up um, and, and um, offer some scholarships um, to, to some students um, in the program. So this will be our second year partnering with VCCC. Um, our first cohort, our first year last year, uh, we learned a lot from. Um, those students uh, have been great. The two scholarship students that we have, we've asked them lots of feedback along the way, how they thought things were going, how could we fix and improve things going forward into this next year. So uh, we're, um, uh, Barrett is handing out a frequently asked questions sheet. And this is uh, a lot of the information that we developed with the first group of students, but uh, it will explain, and Barrett will review it, um, what, why we're doing the program, how you can get involved in the program, the, the timeline in which the program will, will um, start with us, and a little bit about Clark Regional. Um, but does anybody have any questions about our part of the program? How we interact with BCGC? Well, if you don't, you might after we go through the information. So um, we're, we're very excited to be able to start this up again this year and that there are so many here. I don't know how many are from your other campus um, that may be watching, but um, this is a great turnout. We're really excited about it. Sarah, you want to come up? Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. So again, my name is Barrett. I'm in HR um, and I'm really in recruiting. Um, I just joined Clark Regional about four months ago, um, and I can tell you um, that Clark Regional is an excellent place to be. Um, and I wanted to ask you guys, um, can anybody tell me kind of how they learned about this class or this program? Is anybody currently in healthcare? Raise your hand. No, I'm currently actually in healthcare at all right now. Okay, cool. So sometimes um, like SRNAs might be here. Uh, if you have maybe some other, maybe you've worked in a, a physician's office like um, like a registration or if you're like a receptionist or something. Um, but um, so this is excellent because somehow you guys have this idea 
um, hey, I'd like to be in healthcare. I want to help people. I want to help patients. And that's what CMAs do. You're going to be working with patients. Um, and there is, uh, I just want to share with you all that there is a high demand for um, certified medical assistants. And there's also a really high demand for registered nurses and uh, physician assistants and physicians, right? So like the healthcare industry is really growing um, and Clark Regional um, is recruiting consistently. I mean, we're, we have a lot of different positions that are open right now that we need to hire certified medical assistants. Like we, we need you guys, we want you guys. We got, um, if you don't know, Clark Regional actually services like 90% of Stanton, Powell County area. So we get a lot, a lot more people than maybe you just think. We are a regional hospital. So um, these surrounding counties, they come to Clark Regional for, for care. Um, and actually, we have physician practices that are in those counties. So we have offices and physicians that are right there in Stanton. And so there continues to just be a lot more opportunity. Um, it's a pretty interesting company um, that, we're, that we're tied to, it's, it's LifePoint. Um, and as such, we've been able to recruit some really excellent physicians and doctors that are coming into Winchester that were not here before. So if you just think about that, you think about the, the, the abilities that we have now, the services that, that we have in Winchester that maybe we did not have 10 years ago, um, then that there's an opportunity for you guys to get involved um, and to work with patients. Um, so I just wanted to share that a little bit about kind of where we're heading. You know, where Clark Regional is heading, where the healthcare industry is heading, it continues to grow and grow and grow. So as that happens, there's even more need for you guys. Um, and so as such, we wanted to partner with BPTC uh, because we know that learning is best when it's hands-on. And you're going to get those kind of hands-on opportunities in this program. And we're really excited about it. Um, at Clark Regional, we're really kind of a a teaching type of organization. There's some, uh, there's some like humongous hospitals like in Lexington. Um, not to disparage them at all, they do excellent work. But a lot of times they're going to hire a whole class. They'll hire like 20 CMAs at one time, and then they're going to put you through really rigorous, really tough um, kind of training. And you know, 75 percent are going to drop out because it's just way too tough. You know, you know, 25%. That's not how we do things. So we're going to hire you. We're going to talk with you. We're going to, you know, um, get to know you, especially over this course uh, through the CMA program. And we want to train you. And not only do we want to help you become a CMA, we want to help you become a nurse. Um, this is just kind of a beginning for you guys to get into healthcare. There is a really strong career pathway in healthcare. And this is something that we're developing at Clark Regional that I think is somewhat unique. So we want to help you guys become certified medical assistants. Then there's so many more opportunities in surgical technology. Um, we continue to grow in that area. And of course, if you want to become a registered nurse or, you know, there's lots of different ways to continue your career, especially within healthcare. Um, and as we grow, we need you guys. So there's definitely going to be a ton of opportunity with us. Um, if I can maybe share a little bit about um, the program. So basically, um, what you would do is you, you guys are probably going to go ahead and continue to apply for any kind of financial aid. Um, you're going to apply for any other kind of scholarships out there, any kind of grants. And then what Clark Regional is going to do is come alongside that and help cover the gap. Don't know if we'll be able to cover the entire gap, right? But we're going to be able to help you quite a bit in a scholarship. And at the same time, um, you know, you're going to be going through externships and internships with us. Um, and Sarah, you might be able to explain more about kind of the nuts and bolts. Um, but you would, you would apply with us, and then we would talk with you individually and you know, help you with actual scholarship money to help you cover the classes. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll jump in and yeah, just say a few things. You can maybe talk a little bit about some of the benefits. But okay. um, for for the program, um, it's kind of 
two tracks. We're the viewer externship site for the CNA um, program with BCTC, but then again, we want to offer scholarships. We will offer up to five. Um, we um, we are um, uh, 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 an employer that has very high standards, and so we are we are looking for um, those students who have the same uh, personal values as we have for our company. Um, and if uh, if we have ten who apply for the scholarship position, we are super excited because that means that um, that there's a lot of talent out there. Um, we may not offer all five. Uh, we are we are trying to uh, to keep our standards high, but then also during an externship, should you be a scholarship student or not, um, we still want to instill some of these um, values that, that we hope that you will have um, wherever you would go after after you become certified. Um, but the process to apply for the scholarship would be we have a position. Uh, a job position that you'll need to apply for, and it's called MA to CMA School to Work Program. So MA means you're just a medical assistant. So there could be some of you out there who are doing any medical assisting, but um, or not, but you're not certified. So this program is for you to become certified. Um, and that title actually helps those who are looking for jobs who are already certified medical assistants know that this isn't a position for them. Uh, there were a lot that had applied last year that. It's not a position for people who are already uh, CMAs, it's for those of us who are brand new into the program or who are medical assistants that have not yet certified. Um, you'll apply for the position. It'll come to human resources um, at our hospital. It'll um, be processed out to us. We'll re um, review it and, and it's, we're going to interview you as if, as if it's a job um, interview. So um, in addition to your application, we're going to be looking for um, reference letters from your instructor. We want to know that you have um, have have some um, some backing and some recommendations from those in the field, and um, uh, we'll go from there. So it'll be a very quick turnaround. So today is uh, the information session. Um, on your paper, it um, it talks about how to apply, where the website is um, that you can go out to to look for the job position. Um, application deadline is October 14th. So the position should be out there, if not today, very, very soon. Um, okay. Okay. So, so you'll go out there on that website when the position's up. It's uh, very self-explanatory how to apply for the job. It's all done online. Um, October 14th is the deadline to apply. We will set up interviews for the following um, following two weeks through October 21st. And then we'll make a decision on who is scholarship, and we will let everybody who applies know if you uh, receive a scholarship or not. Um, we'll make those notifications uh, by October 26th, and then we'll have a reception um, in November. So for those of you who are very interested, we are super excited again for first the turnout here. Again, I don't know how many are out there um, who, are, who are not here um, in person, but we encourage everybody who is interested to apply and um and we'll go from there any questions about the process on how to apply okay maybe you want to come back up and talk a little bit about once you are a scholarship company for a job and yeah benefits. sure yeah so um one thing that is really awesome about this that we're excited about that this is going to be considered a full-time job which means you're going to have full-time benefits and so um, on the back um, there's a clark regional benefits overview so if this is important to you, and we, we thought it might be, um, this is going to be part of this this offering, this program, this full-time benefit. That's, um, it, that includes PTO, paid time off, vacation. You get four weeks of vacation, which is excellent. A paid vacation. Um, health insurance, the Blue Cross Blue Shield. We can kind of go down there. Um, there's a lot of different uh, things that we that we offer, um, and so. We just thought that that was, you know, this is something that we wanted to do to help you guys provide for you. Um, and, you know, the, our benefits are also going to be if you have a spouse, if you have children, obviously extended to your family as well. So um, that's something that we're, we're pretty excited to help you with because this is going to be a long term, uh, you know, kind of relationship with us. So between Clark Regional, between us and you, um, we want you to be part of the team. You know, you're going to be going through a program, and you're, you're 
You're no different than anyone else that's going to be in the building. You know, you have a badge. You'll be in your scrub. You'll be working alongside a physician. You know, um, you're going to be, you know, working your way towards that CMA, um, and you're going to have the benefits and everything else, and be a part of the team. And Clark Regional, uh, you know, we work hard. We do have high standards. We have a lot of fun too. Um, I was already joking about. You know, um, I hope it's okay. Just keep joking about, you know, picking my nose up here and getting on YouTube, you know, YouTube sensation or whatever. Because, you know, we, just, we have a lot of fun. So we're in, we're in, we're in meetings and whatever. We're joking. I haven't seen you pick your nose yet. I might. I might do it now. I might just flash. You have to slow down and find it. Slow mo and you can find it. You did it. You didn't see it. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, I mean, we just have a lot of fun. We can joke around. We can cut up. And when we're, when we're doing our work, we're going to work hard, and we're also going to have some fun together as well. We're a big family. Um, so talk to people. If you know anybody that works at Clark Regional, talk to them. Ask them about what it's like to work here. Um, obviously, you can contact me. Uh, I'm going to leave my card for you as well, and then you see how you can apply. And we're going to be very personable. We're going to talk with you, interview with you, and um, yeah. Awesome. Excited. So, thank you guys. All right. Ashley, do you want to come up and talk about the program plan, how it's structured, days of the week, things like that? Appreciate that Bruce handed out to you to begin with. Um, it doesn't matter which one. Uh, I think you the, the subject degree. Yeah, the subject. There's also this plum around that only affects the top, the prerequisite courses. Okay, um, so if you look at the bottom, you will see all your medical assistant courses that are listed. The way it is structured, because it looks like there's a lot going on in one semester, there is a lot going on. But, um, like I think you might have heard, there are two programs, one in Lexington and one here in Winchester. I instruct both of them. So, fit everybody in, in a work week, um, it evens out. Okay, the nice for that. You start out kind of slow. Um, so in the spring, when it starts in January, uh, the first day of week, you only have class one day a week, Thursday. And it will be all day on Thursday. What that means, though, for anybody who is selected um, for the work to school program, um, is it two days school at that point? or? Uh, um, we would we would adjust that okay. around the around that day. Mm -hmm. Working in their clinic is adjusted. It's going to be worked around your school schedule. Okay, so the first eight weeks is I think probably, lack of a better word, the funkiest for that working that out. Um, after that first eight weeks, you are then in class um, three days a week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay. And so at that point, Monday and Friday would be um, typical, the typical days with um, Clark Regional. Um, and for those of you who have other jobs already and aren't going to be doing that or don't get selected or any of that process, it's still two days a week that are opened up specifically for you all to have a job because I do know how important that is. A lot of the people who are in the program are, um, you know, they have kids. They need to have a job while they're working or while they're going to school. Um, I was in that boat. I worked 3 to 11 in the evening um, full time and went to school full time. Uh, I would not have been able to do a nice weekend program because of that reason. But um, so we do work it around. Your second semester uh, in the program is first eight weeks, you have classes three days a week, and then the second eight weeks. It's just one day a week with me for about three hours, and then the rest of it's your externship. Um, however that plays out, whatever office they have you in, um, and the hours may vary person to person depending on the office and the position and things like that. Um, I say it's very fast paced, but it's not overwhelming. Um, almost every, and you'll hear the same things aren't repeated in a lot of the courses, but just because it's they all play on each other. Okay, they all um, help each other out from clinical procedures to laboratory techniques to pharmacology because you will be giving injections to patients. Um, 
dispensing some oral meds, depending on the order, uh, different things like that. So it all plays out. And so what you've learned in the first semester, you're going to be probably reiterated on right before you go to your externship. And the course that you do take while you're at your externship on those Mondays, that is your exam prep review. We'll go over your evaluations from your clinical side, um, adjust anything that might need to be adjusted. Um, typically, I have not ever gotten a bad response back in clinical sites, but there's always a first for anything. So I just take that time to let you know how awesome you're doing and fix anything that needs to be fixed. After that, it is nothing but prepping you all for that national exam. Um, it's about a 300 question test that you sit for. Um, you get to schedule it yourself and I give you all that information when it comes time to it. And once you have passed that, you then are a CMA. And you can apply for um, jobs that actually say certified medical assistant. You can say you're a certified medical assistant. Okay? So that's what that class is for. And so you'll probably get to hire a test by then. Uh, there are a lot of tests in the program, but we do have some high standards. And that was one thing I've always gotten back from a lot of our clinical sites and employers is that they really like the CMAs that came from this program at BCPC. So my instructor I had, I'd like to still kind of follow after what she has done. Um, so I try to hopefully make her proud and make you all good CMAs as well. So that's the way the schedule is set up. And I can definitely. I'm oh, sorry. Can you reiterate that the second semester is three days a week, and then it's, one course in the extra? Yeah. Okay. The way it's listed, so the laboratory techniques two, clinical procedures two, and pharmacology for the medical assistant. That's your three classes that you'll have the first eight weeks. Okay, and that is three days a week. Those last three classes, your practicum and externship. You all I always just refer to it as externship. They're one, basically one and the same. Practicum is um, so many hours actually of your externship hours, and it's a mixture of both administrative and clinical. So uh, that's why it's there. So there are, those two are actually your externship, your clinical side, and then the assessment preparation, which you all will be the first, first group, whoever is starting in the spring will be the first group to actually go through that class. It's new to the program. So I'm excited to figure that one out with you all. So, uh, any other questions on the schedule or something else? No? Okay. So that's a really quick overview of how we're partnering with Clark Regional Medical Center and what they're doing for us be able to offer the medical assistant program here at the Winchester campus. Um, any questions? So now's the time to start asking. So where else can you find um, someone that's willing to not only pay for your tuition in form of a scholarship, but also employ you and give you a job with benefits and pay time off, right, while you're doing it? So it's a great opportunity. It's a unique opportunity. It doesn't come around all the time. And uh, we want to make sure that everyone takes advantage of it. So some of the things that I've jotted down real fast is that you have to apply on Clark Regional's website for the job and work and learn scholarship. So uh, that'll be posted in the next few days. Uh, the link is on here. The title of the job is called MA to CMA School to Work Scholarship. So that's the title of the job that you'll look for in the job listing. Um, application deadline is October the 14th. So make sure you have all of your information in by October the 14th. We will notify everybody uh, by October 21st and then have a reception on November the 3rd. When you go in for your interview at Clark Regional, make sure you have reference letters and you're still looking for um, grade information, right? So make sure you turn in grade information. And what else are you looking for? Did we outline that? Those two things really, I think, bring with you to your interview, but... Um, you have a resume. Resume, yeah. 
But I mean, it, it is a, 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 a job interview. So we will be asking um, interview questions. Uh, we will be looking for um, not only do you have the grades, but do you have um, you know what it takes to be to be somebody who's on our team. Yes, ma'am. You're talking about grades. You're talking about from high school, or are they already supposed to be enrolled into a CMA program? If you're if you are enrolled now and taking any classes, then where are your grades at the, at the point that we do the interview? Because well, you won't have final grades by October 21st. Um, if you don't have any grades at all, then you won't have any kids to show. Other questions, yes. Um, for on this paper, the math classes, if you've taken any other math classes like 111 or 150, do those make you look to Anything higher? Always be something to do. Your program that course regional is only a two year scholarship, correct? Well, it's an application process, so um, need it or or not, it, it's a um, a an award. And, well, I would just hate like I'm my school paid for with veteran benefits, but I hate I wouldn't want to apply for a scholarship and get that when somebody else could get it that would need it. But I kind of hate to like I can't apply for this opportunity because my school covered. Well. You, you've got a choice. You can either um, have all your benefits and financial aid and everything. You know, you should apply that to your account first. And if that takes care of all of your tuition, then the hospital doesn't have to contribute anything, and that's more money they can, you know, save for the next cohort or the next person or something like that. So, you know, all the financial aid and scholarships that you get should be applied first. Now, if you want to apply for the job that goes along to it, you're more than welcome to apply for the job. So, Mr. Chair, I would encourage you to yeah. okay. please apply still uh, because it's far beyond just a scholarship. It's up to you to do the work and learn at the same time. So, it's the program. Okay. Um, if you do, you know, if everything is paid for, that's excellent and that may open up another opportunity for someone else anyway. You know, we have a limited amount of money anyway. so. You know, maybe you know, there'll be six people that you can take. Okay, so there are, there's that number. Yeah, please, please apply. And if somebody already has a job and likes their job and works with their schedule and you've still got the financial aid and scholarships that are paying, you don't have to apply for this opportunity either. So it's optional. You can still be a medical assistant and graduate our program without working at the hospital, too. So. Although I'd say it's better because the more experience you get and the hands-on experience, uh, the better opportunity you'll have uh, in applying for a full-time job that you don't have. You'll still do your clinicals and everything required for the program at Clark Reed, even if you're not part of the work and learn program. Other questions? Comments, suggestions, or bribes. <laughs> is this yearly? Because I wasn't interested until the spring semester. So is this not is this not offered until like it's January? January? Oh, it, it's offered every semester then. So the, the, the cohorts down here in Winchester are a spring start date. So were you going to possibly be starting in the spring in January? Right. In the actual program with me. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, I'll, we'll figure that out. Okay. I mean, if it's for definitely, this will affect definitely students who will be starting this January. Um, and I hope that it continues on over the next couple of years. That'd be great. So it would be always the spring start down there. Okay. I All right, we are always here to help you. Um, I will, my office is at the front office here. Uh, Ashley 
is the program coordinator as well as the instructor as well as the main advisor for the program so if i can't answer your questions uh ashley can also miss jackson has a lot of assigned advisees and will be answering questions about medical system too and miss jackson you want to say anything I just that I'm going to sign this. <laughs> 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 I would like to get on a side meeting with the But um, I've, I'm learning a lot. It's just brand new to me. I'm calling to go back to my information so I can give students. Well, this is the second cohort. Like uh, Sarah said, we learned a lot through the first cohort. Uh, this uh, frequently asked questions page, I think, is very helpful. Um, did everybody get this handout? Did everybody get the program plan? And did everybody sign in? Where did the sign in sheet? Miss Gina's got the sign in sheet back there. Did everybody get the chance to sign in? Now, remember, if you're a currently enrolled student right now, priority registration starts October 1st. So make sure you make an appointment with your advisor or come to the front office and see us. And get your classes scheduled for spring um, starting October the 1st that's priority registration and then if you're a new student um, make sure you get your application in and we start advising for new students November 1st okay all right thank you guys if you have any more questions just let us know and hopefully it's been beneficial <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.